I swear, the second I turn on the camera, I just don't even know who I am anymore. Today, I am sick and tired of all the grayness, and so I want to add some color. I have worn makeup maybe twice in the last like two weeks. It's not okay. So today I'm going to be walking you through an in-depth eyeshadow tutorial using one of the palettes from my last video, how to use confusing eyeshadow palettes. And that palette is the Riviera palette. I'm going to be making, I'm guessing sort of like a pastel, rainbowish kind of watercolor fluttery look. All I know is that there are certain shades in this palette that I definitely want to make some use of. This shade and this shade, maybe also this one, this guy, a couple of these, this one. Also, this one, this one. I guess we'll find out. So guys, if you like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up so that I know what you're looking for. Also, it helps me out with the YouTube algorithms and such. Also, subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos like this from me. And without further ado, I guess we'll just get started. So I have already done my base makeup, my blush, bronzer, highlight, I have already primed my lids, and I have used this wonderful, wonderful lipstick from Color the World Lipsticks. It is just so cute. Look at this packaging. I mean, what? So the packaging is this little paper pattern. Each lipstick has a different pattern. So cute. So this one is called Coral Reef. It is this beautiful, just, mm, this is the one that's on my lips today. And then this one is called Surfberry, which is the prettiest pink. There are at least two other shades from them that I want to buy. I just wanted to start out with two because I fell in love with these. Okay, so let's get started on the eye look. So I'm going to start off with this white shade. And I'm using a flat, fluffy brush. Ooh, a little bit of fallout, not much. I've never used a white eyeshadow before. <laughs> is that weird? Ooh, but I like it. I like it already. So I'm just plopping this down as a base because I kind of want all of these shades to mix together and become like a little bit lighter. I'm okay if they mix with the white and get this like milky pastel effect. That's kind of what I'm going for. Hmm, I'm confused. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I don't know. I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush to the shade Estate. Oh, that last one was called Sales, by the way. I like this palette. I think it got kind of a bad rap because people were like, it's confusing. But if you watched my last video, then you will know it's really not that confusing. You just kind of have to know a strategy. Oh, I like that shade. It's such a cute little peachy pink. This definitely reminds me of the ice cream shop on the Disney Boardwalk. If you've ever been to either of those ice cream shops, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's Rolling Hills and there is... The other one that just sells Bluebell. Rolling Hills is a thousand times better though. Basically just obliterated my white. It's fine. <laughs> Got lipstick on my teeth. So I think I'm going to stick with the peachy thing and use this shade Coastline. I'm just going to deepen up my crease just the tiniest amount. Keeping it loose. Keeping it free. My whole look is going to be kind of like beachy because I've got coral reef and then I've got this whole like Riviera seaside kind of thing going on. I like it. Now I think it is time to get into this purple. This is called Ken and I'm going to be using that first brush, the flat fluffy brush, just kind of tapping into it really. I think I'm just going to pat it right here at first and I want to just blend it almost straight up like a little explosion of color. I'm one of those people, it takes me forever to blend. I just like to take my time with it. So today I'm trying to go a little bit faster. Thank you for watching my channel, y'all. It means the most to me, it means so much. That is really cute, I'm kind of liking it. I kind of want to like extend that out just a little bit. I don't want to get any darker, I just want to extend it out. Just creating like a little bitty wing shape. This is blending so easily. Okay, I wanna go under my eye just the tiniest bit. So with this method, I'm just kind of using the rainbow method. Basically, I'm using these peaches slash pinks, and then I'm going over to the purple because it kind of like gradates into that. And then I'm gonna be using the blues because they come from the purple, like they gradate into the purple. That's at least where my thought process is. I'm not sure if it's gonna turn out exactly that way, but you know, 
there's no rules. It is time to go in with a bit of Mediterranean, this kind of periwinkle blue. I love this shade, even though it is the dustiest thing I've ever used. It's like sandy, it's so dusty. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pigmented though. I have to be careful and this is gonna become quite dramatic. And the sad part is I like dramatic looks. This is like brightening my mood. Just gonna sweep away some of that fallout. Oh no, it just turned into like a blue smudge. Ah, I feel like Aaron in the video where he did my makeup. <laughs> it was so much fun. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of a flat brush in that same Mediterranean shade. And I'm just trying to pack it down at the bottom, just the tiniest amount. Just so that we get a little hit and then it into nothing. I basically want the majority of the drama at the lash line for this look. And then the rest of the look is like really light and easy so it kind of tricks the eye. Now I am going to go in with Seychelles. I am going to just put it right next to that one that we just put down. This is shaping up to be one of my favorite eye looks. I think that my favorite ones are like the really airy and light ones. What are your favorites? Do you like cut creases or do you like just something that's classic? pinups. What's your jam? I want to do that same little trick and grab my flat brush in Seychelles and I'm just going to pat that on the lash line right there at the bottom. Just a little bit. Gosh that's pigmented. Oh that blue is everything. I'm just gonna have some glitter there. It's, it's fine. It's just my life now. So I'm going to grab a little bit of translucent powder and just try to use that to sweep away some of that fallout or at least cover it up. Just pretend that it isn't there, you know, just pretend. Nothing wrong with using your imagination with makeup. For my last trick, I think I want to grab a little bit of inheritance on my little pencil brush. Mediterranean, get out of here, what are you doing? And we're just going to dust that on the front of the lid so we see how Yellow goes to blue, blue goes to purple. That's kind of according to those rainbow rules. Just adding the tiniest amount. Taking that same pencil brush into sales, I am going to tap that on the inner corner. Just because I haven't done a matte highlight in forever. And this is a really pigmented white. Now I think I'm going to go back in with Estate, that first peachy shade that we used. And I'm going to brush it just under the eye, just so that we get a little bit of a shadow going. I love how peaches and purples look together. I'm going to bring that purple on the tip of my brush on the outer corner, brushing it outwards. Smallest amount ever. Very cute. Oh, oh, oh. And then I'm taking my little flat brush again, right back into Mediterranean. And I'm just going to kind of pat it on the outer corner just because periwinkle is my favorite color and I am too tempted. Using my setting spray. Now I'm going to apply some of my Benefit Roller Lash and I will be right back to show you the final look. Okay everyone, so this is the final pastel springy rainbow look. I love the way that it turned out. It's so soft and feminine and it's just really cute and exactly what I needed today. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, that it was helpful and informative to you and helped you escape a little bit, it made you a little bit happy, made you smile. If it did, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. Thank you guys again so much for being here and spending time with me. It means the world to me. Leave a comment down below how you like this look and what you'd like to see next. And I will see you soon in my next video. Okay, bye!